I really can't claim anything for the story at all. I mean, the, the only thing was that I really didn't believe in, in Batman as, as a man dressed up in a suit at, at the end of the day. Um, I was even hoping to take it as far as doing the whole thing like a big sort of thea theatrical production and having everybody wear masks and the Joker would just, just be a mask, suspended mask, and Two-Face would have two masks. But actually, it came back a little bit from there. Um, but it, it was just taking, away, taking it away from being, trying to be real people, as if this was real people. Um, that, was, that was my only major sort of bone of contention. Mostly because I was hoping this book might be read by people who, who don't usually read comics. Um, I wanted the whole, the whole package to look very different. Um, and you can't assume that people can accept the fact that you know there's this guy who runs around with the big ears and the little gold badge because it's a it's a daft idea and i just don't believe in a man dressed up as a bat wandering around hitting people i just don't i mean you know call me old-fashioned but i just don't believe in that um but there were some things about the character that i did think worked i mean for if, if you're if you're if if you're given that to work with um the fact that he's this dark blurring bleak shadow wandering around you know you just catch glimpses of him and it just flashes down an alleyway that kind of works that's kind of that's a nice image just an image of a man that uh, you know mixed between the two is is kind of interesting so i never really wanted to show him as having a mar a, a you know a, a defined mask or defined costume and things like the little gold badge obviously went i mean that's just ludicrous um so it was, it was that side, the sort of slightly strange mystical side that I liked. But seeing as though the whole book is set in an asylum, it's the perfect like coat hanger to just hang all this, this madness on. If there's an image in there that, that doesn't make sense, um, you know, fine. Maybe, maybe it will resonate with somebody and they'll find a personal meaning for it. Um, maybe it'll just sit around being one of the sort of imponderables of the book and, you know, so, so much the better. The majority of it is, is just acrylic paint and watercolour inks and uh, biro and pencil and graphite and whatever's the closest. Um, the collage materials are just, it's, it's just a way of adding more texture and more interest, uh, not only to the work, but with my producing it. Um, I like things that happen by accident. I'm a big, big fan of you know, just you know, trying to catch the moment. Um, so a lot of the, 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 the textural things, the build-ups of, of texture paste and, and all this kind of stuff, and the bits of material collaged on, and they just painted over. It's usually just like two or three swipes, and then I leave the textures to just work themselves out.